see Ken Villa. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Uh, Ken is back from Chicago. Hells are tired, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a long flight, you know. It does uh, work the shoulders a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's good. We're headed up to the Murphy, and we are driving the Cadillac. You know what? I, I don't know what the name of this is. I think it's the XT4. But it's their first SUV. Right. It's their first wow. SUV. And it's it's quite nice. It's got a turbo, two yeah. liter turbo. Uh, moves pretty quick, all wheel drive. Very nice. We'll get into this uh, a little yeah. bit later, but today we're going up to the Murphy for a number of reasons. Primarily, we're having an artist meeting and we're getting ready for the Fireball Gallery showing. It's gonna be exciting. May 11th. I mean, it is exciting. It is exciting. You feel it? <laughs> I feel it in certain places. <laughs> Back at the museum, just got here. We got a lot of stuff that's going on today. As you can see, the Holt is here now, and that just made its, its way in. Uh, we're figuring out a way, a place to set that up. There is a Shasta that's over here. We got some people coming to pick up their Shasta, and they're gonna go for, for a camping trip. And uh, we got a few other things that are going on today. Ken's up here. David and Max are running around. Uh, we even have this little trailer guy. That's gonna go with this 38 right here. So we're gonna put those things together. Lots of cool stuff going on. But today's the artist meeting, so those guys are gonna be showing up at about 11. It's about 9.30 right now. So we got some things to do. and we're at the Murphy and you just bought something from the Murphy that's uh, not something you would normally find on eBay. You're sure right about that. Yeah, what is it? It's a uh, Porsche mm -hmm. Spider Buck, mm -hmm. a 550 Spider. Not, not something everybody wants, but no, you do. I want it. Yeah, and, and what's the plan? What are you gonna do with this thing? Well, we're going to have a stab at making uh, and forming aluminum body panels to fit this car mm -hmm. and then we're gonna assemble a complete vehicle. Yeah. And and uh, have fun driving. Yeah, I want I want to spin in one of those. Yes. But I have to come to Salt Lake to do that. Right? Yes, you probably will. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you have another business where you do Jeep parts. We do. We right? make all kinds of Jeep accessories. Okay, and is there a website for that? Yeah, it's uh, langoriginals.com. Okay. Lang is spelled L-A-N-G-E. It's a lunga if you're German. Yeah, it's another one of those non-Smith words. Uh-huh. Right? So uh, so if someone has a Jeep, a Wranglers or, or? They're all Wranglers. Okay, if you have a Wrangler, and you want some cool parts for it, you're the guy. I am. Okay, that's all we need to know. And soon to be Porsches. 
Yeah, we'll yeah. try that out. Okay. We'll probably find out it's too much work like everybody yeah. else in the world your, has. Your they stop is, making your, these. <laughs> your wife is laughing at you right now. Lot of stuff but the trailer boat behind us yes we, that belongs to someone in oxnard but you have david's trailer boat yep which is he, he's restoring oh yeah wicked customs right there yeah. sorry and then uh but there's also a uh a little wizard motor yeah. wizard wizard motor yeah yeah it's going to go on that which i'll show Pretty you guys cool. in a second polished. um go. how long is it going to take to uh to because it has to be painted to match the Studebaker, the Studebaker wagon. yeah. Wagon. It's going to take a little while because we have to uh, de, de well, we're going to dechrome it or actually de-aluminize it because it's all aluminum mm -hmm. and stainless. And once we get to that point, so I'm probably talking about maybe two months. Okay. Total. Cool. So yeah, we'll, it's going to be, we'll be uh, to two colors. The yeah. Top's going to be white, and mm -hmm. the bottom's going to be turquoise. Not quite that green, but yeah. it's going to be really cool. Yeah. Well, let's go look Can't at the wait. Studebaker. Yeah. Muscles and Mojo is coming next weekend, and this wagon is going to be the Studebakery. So if you come to Muscles and Mojo, we're going to have treats out of the back car. Alright, this, so this is the wagon it's going to match. Yeah, this is the, actually the one that's going to be uh, pulling uh, the rig, which the trailer boat's going to be really cool. Same color, uh, we're going to go with the same pink coat, and then on top, it's also going to match the boat part of it. It's going to match the same color as, as the top, so it's going to be a n nice match pair. Uh, pretty cool. It's a great, unique wagon, 63. The back end, the, uh, the roof line actually opens up. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nice. This meeting is about to begin shortly, but there's just too much cool stuff going on. Oh my gosh, yeah. I walked in and I don't know where to go next. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter which direction you go. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful here.
Robert, and we are at Ventura Cars and Coffee this morning at around 6.30ish. Yay! You got your coffee? I do. Right? And uh, so far, so good. Pretty good turnout. Very good turnout. But you know what I like about your car, because you, you're right, we did do it on the blog a few years ago. Yes, we did. Is that it's just like so clean that if I were not vegan, I could make eggs and bacon on it. You could. Yeah, but otherwise <laughs> I could do like a veggie scramble or something like that. Uh, tell me about this car. You've, you've had it, how long you've had it, what you've done to it. Uh, started in uh, 2005. I purchased the car here in Ventura. It came from Seattle. Uh, it was very, very rusty. You couldn't tell when you were looking at it. That's why I fell in love with it, because it looked fantastic. Um, we, in 2007, started to tear it apart. And once we soda blasted it, we found that you could stand on one side of the car and see people on the other side of the car through the car. Uh, it became one of those, uh, do we want to continue? Well, of course we do, because <laughs> at $20,000 purchase, we don't want to just throw it in the garbage. So we made a determined with uh, JCG Restorations that we were going to build this car. No matter what, we were going to salvage this car. Yeah, thank God you did. Yeah, we did. You know, we, we're, we kind of become custodians for these things. Yes. Custodians of automotive history. Well, right. it started out just as a complete restoration of the 68 Chevelle and became a complete restoration of Pro Touring 68 Chevelle. Yeah, it's, so it's stunning. Keep money pit. Yeah, right. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your business? I work for uh, Southern California. Yes. Okay, so you're you're the guy that that, uh, that turns things off and back on again. That's correct, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right.